Use this guide to learn how to change your practicing certificate type. For example, you may move from employee to principal or from a principal to a government type. Visit the LSB Online homepage and click on the button Login to LSB Online to access the home screen. On the home screen, click the green Practicing Certificates button. You can then select Apply for or change your practicing certificate. You'll now see the Practicing Certificate Application and Variation Form home screen. It contains seven sections you need to complete. However, many areas will already be populated. In the Applicant section, you'll need to provide information about your new practicing certificate. The date practicing certificate to take effect needs to be the same as the day you start work with your new employer or in your new position. This date can't be before the date you submit your application to us. Select your new practicing certificate type from the drop-down. If you're changing to a principal practicing certificate, you'll need approval from us before submitting the online form. See our frequently asked questions for more information. Click next at the bottom of the screen to move to the next section. If you're changing employers, you'll need to update the practice contact section. If you're not changing employers, you can skip this step. Under the current practices section, you'll find information about your current place of practice. Click on the edit position button to edit your position in this place of practice. Enter the date your position with your current employer will cease and select your cease reason from the drop-down menu. Select your position type from the drop-down menu and select yes if this will be your primary place of practice. Enter the date your new position will commence with your employer. Click continue. You'll now see your new employer details under the law practice section. If your address for service will change, Please update these details here. This must be a street address. Please be aware that the suburb, state and postcode you enter here will appear on the Register of Victorian Lawyers on our website. Update your contact details if these will change. Make sure you change your email address if this is linked to your old employer. You can use a personal email address here, for example, a Gmail or Outlook address. Click Next at the bottom of the screen to move to the next section. These questions will help us make a decision about whether we can issue you with a practicing certificate. Use this section to let us know about any matters that might impact you being granted a practicing certificate. You only need to answer yes here if there are new matters that we don't already know about. Click on the notes icon for more information about what you might need to disclose here. Click next at the bottom of the screen to move to the next section. If there are no changes to your practice areas or cultural diversity information, skip to the next section. Enter a tick in the declaration box and click next to move to the next section. In this section, you can make payment for your certificate. A summary of your practicing certificate information will now appear. Click confirmed or go back and edit your information if it's incorrect. Your fees will now display including if there is a difference between your new certificate type and your old certificate type. We can't issue you a refund if your new certificate costs less than your previous one. If you owe money, you can pay by BPAY or credit card. If you select credit card, the payment screen will load and you can enter your details. A tax receipt will be emailed to you. If you select BPAY, we'll email you with the BPAY payment details. If you did select BPAY, your application will not be processed until we receive your payment. Make sure you click Submit to send your application to us for review. If you don't click Submit, the application will remain in draft form and you'll not get your certificate. 